Before I get into how Raquel was done dirty in Barbie Life in the Dream House, I also want to talk about how she also was done dirty on Barbie Dream House Adventure real quick. She got replaced with a watered down version of herself that clearly has a similar name to her and a similar appearance from her original character. She was clearly there to replace her. The good guy bad guy combo that Raquel was giving on the show is what gave that show its a little spark. The fact that she was always trying to sabotage everything and had a rivalry with Barbie is what made it so interesting because she was a relatable character. Raquel always strived to be just like Barbie, perfect in every way and famous as well. And she was kind of evil when doing that too. But just because she was evil doesn't mean she couldn't have been done dirty by the show because sometimes she wouldn't even be doing anything and that show will still do her dirty. And that kind of got annoying for me. When it comes to rivalries between the protagonist and antagonist of the show, I hate it when the protagonist is always winning and always succeeding over the antagonist and the antagonist has zero wins to their name like absolutely zero they always make the protagonist wins it gets annoying barbie doesn't consider raquel competition but like let raquel have her moments moving on to some of the times raquel was done dirty <laughs> let's see she won the sandcastle building contest we tied it surfing i got a bonus point for the wacky hair and i won the picnic i win <laughs> Hello? Ken? Anybody? First off, the one time that she actually won something, everyone was gone. Like, they were some fake friends. Like, the one time that they actually were supposed to think about Raquel, because they're the good characters, they didn't. I'm going to summarize the next clip because I needed to short it down for the video and I didn't want to add like every little thing in there because I'm lazy. But a quick recap on it is basically that Raquel went to Barbie to go ask her to teach her how to model and like she taught her and then that was the runway show. Project fabulous. Ah, I'll save it with a cute hair flip. Ooh. Plant, spin, smile. Oh, plant, shin, file. Ah. Raquel, are you okay? I am now. How about we ditch this low rent production and. was holding out on me i would have killed with that move i didn't like how she just started to mess up her one-way walk like i feel like there should have been a reason that she tried like to sabotage or do something for her, like to mess up that badly because honestly how like how even if she was that clumsy like how it's not making no sense they just wanted her to fail so bad because what i feel like they should have made her walk like Teresa and nikki and just like had a di had a different reason like her like doing a publicity stunt or whatever and messing up by her own terms like doing it by herself everyone always talking about how raquel hated like which she is rightfully so because it's raquel she's like the antagonist that's what she does but like the other characters that are supposed to be good and hating like that's actually crazy To sum it up, all these characters on this show are bipolar and be switching up between good and bad, and Raquel's the only real character who actually showed their authentic self. Sorry, not sorry. Even Barbie, they fake. Even the 